Let's discuss self-care as a transaction coordinator, especially a self-employed transaction coordinator working from home, and just the importance of managing your self-care in such a demanding role. For me personally, having a morning routine in place is so vital to pretty much how the rest of my day flows. I understand there's going to be unknowns, there's going to be great parts, there's going to be parts that I'm not going to like, right? So how do I manage all of that in those moments? One, I definitely celebrate my wins and have gratitude. And a part of my morning routine is prayer, reading, journaling, working out. And that could be just stretching, walking for 20 minutes, doing intense, you know, workouts with my medicine ball, but something to get my body moving and my blood pumping so I can get a lot of that natural energy. Um, Sometimes even just standing outside for five minutes just to get some you know, sun and vitamin D, but in those moments of of pressure, when it's high stress and just, there's so many people and emails coming in and out, in and out, it's okay to take a step back, take a deep breath, fix your posture. You can walk out the room, take a break from your laptop. Have you eaten? Have you drinking water? All of those things, right? Because we want to take care of self first, always. No matter how much a job or your company is getting paid, if you are not well, nothing else will be well, period. So those are just a few tips I can offer in this situation, in this topic of self-care through high-pressured, high-stress situations. Let me know what you do to manage your self-care and take care of yourself. Working remotely, working from home is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I love the location independence of it all. <laughs> I'm very blessed. I'm grateful. I, I, I'm I grateful every second of the day. It sounds outrageous, but it's true. But some tips I can offer to those that are working from home, that maybe it's new to you, or your, maybe your family or your friends or those you live with this holds a little bit of resentment because it just seems like, oh, you get to be home all day. And, you know, it's not hard for you. Well, it is. And I see you. I know what it's like to sit at a computer for eight hours straight, 12 hours straight, where you're just grinding. And it it can often go unappreciated. It can also be a lot of invisible work where it does seem like, well, you get to be working from home and your peaches. Yes, blessings on blessings on blessings. But I experience the same amount of pressure, the same amount of stress that I have working in another location but again i'm very grateful so when working from home you know be mindful of your energy how things are affecting you emotionally mentally because self-care is so important i can't stress that enough having either a morning routine afternoon routine evening routine rituals whatever it is make sure you're taking care of self And making sure your desk space, your office space is something that you enjoy going to every single day. Because for me, I'm the type that likes to switch things up often just to have a fresh perspective. You know, maybe I'm experiencing blockage blockages because of the way my my desk was. You know, I I used to have my my back face to a window. Now I face the window. My, My desk is in a command position versus feeling like I'm constantly looking behind me and I'm not quite sure of what's what to expect. There's that fear of the unknown that starts to kick in. You know, I decorate my office with words of encouragement. I decorate my office with artists I love, reminders that I'm working hard, my diplomas, you know, and album covers and such. And I just make it my space because I'm going to be there probably more than I am (laughs) spending time with family and friends and loved ones because this is not only my home but my place of work so working remotely it has its perks but it can also be stressful and if your environment isn't helping you to uplift you i would do some spring cleaning even if it's in the winter (laughs) winter cleaning whatever the case reorganizing painting getting some bright colors or maybe you like the more dark aesthetic, find what your aesthetic is and make your your space custom to you and your liking and your personality. So you can enjoy showing up and being the best version of you as an employee, an owner, whatever the case may be. It's your space, it's your energy. 
protect it. For those aspiring to be their own boss, particularly, particularly in the field of real estate transaction coordination, AKA a transaction coordinator, some educational resources I can offer you are that actually have nothing to do with real estate are books based on organization, habits, discipline, things that will inspire you or motivate you, or most importantly, challenge your already default settings. Because as you're entering this world of entrepreneurship, this world of self-employment, you're carrying a heavier weight, which isn't all bad weight. It's a great weight, but it is a heavier weight because you are in charge of you. You are in charge of how you make money, how you keep the money. I definitely recommend money books such as I, I Will Teach You How to Be Rich by Ramit Sethi, The Budget Nista. I'm constantly talking about her and her resources. She has a book with a workbook as well. You know, you can also join newsletters for people that can keep you, you know, accountable. I definitely would recommend hiring a coach. I'm a coach. I can help you one on, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But ultimately, in order to maintain and see out your aspirations coming to fruition, it's important to always be educating yourself, learning, talking to people within the industry, seeing what they recommend, because it's a constant state of growth and evolution that must be maintained, much like we get, you know, on a physical on our physical appearance, like we get regular haircuts. Well, it's important we educate ourselves regularly. Are we up on the latest laws? Are, are the forms and disclosures we're using up to date, etc. So let me know some other educational resources you recommend in the comments and let's talk about it. And my name is Lillian Hernandez, AKA Lily Like the Flower, because we are learning and growing together. And this is Transaction Care. My goal is to demystify the business of real estate as well as empower, encourage, and uplift you on your journey today. Give me a follow and if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer paid coaching services. The DMs are open, the comments are open. Let's talk about it. Care for yourself, care for your wealth. Your time is worth it.